Your drain line is something that you never think about, but when it backs up, it could cause massive ceiling damage. Well, today I'm going to show you how to flush your drain line so that you can get your system back up and running and get your family cool again. So while you're working on the drain pipe, you want to make sure you don't cause any water damage. So you're going to need a bucket or your honorary puke bowl. Now this should be a very basic setup to what you have in your house. You're going to have your evaporator cool. That's going to be producing all your water. You're going to have your drain line. It's going to start off from the evaporator coil. It's going to come down this pipe, gravity fed out of the house. Now if your drain line already has access with a union or a T, then you're already one step ahead of the game. But if not, then you're, you're going to need one of these, PVC cutter, or one of these. Just be careful. Now the first thing you want to do is get your catch pan under your pipe because when you cut this, water will come out. Yes, you have water going this way, but you're also going to have water backed up into this catch pan in here. This whole bottom of the coil is full of water. So once you cut this, all that water is just going to drain out right into your pan. Now take whatever you're going to use to cut the pipe and get into it. There we go. Now that we have the drain line cut, we need to flush out this drain line because your water is going to flow down. Most of the time your block is going to be somewhere on the downside of the system. So you're going to either take an air compressor and flush out the line, or if you can take a garden hose, hook it up to your water heater or outside and flush it out of the drain like this. If you're extremely desperate to flush that drain line today and you don't have any of the tools I mentioned, you can take that into the pipe, wrap your hand over it and put your mouth to your hand and flush it out. But if it comes to that, you might need to call someone for help. Now that our drain line is cut and flushed out, it's time to put it back together. The easiest way is to put a coupling on it, but that doesn't allow us to flush it out again in the future. We're gonna have to cut the pipe. There are better solutions like this union. If you actually take the union, put it inside the pipe, it looks like a coupling, but it actually unscrews and allows you access to the center of the pipe again. After you flush it out again, you're gonna wanna take and screw this on as tight as possible. If you don't screw it on nice and tight, water will leak out of these threads and you're gonna find it on your ceiling. Another setup you can put in your drain line is a ball valve and T system. Once you glue this whole thing together onto the drain line, it actually allows you to flush out your drain line in the future without having to take it apart. All you have to do to service it in the future is shut off the ball valve, flush it out through your T, and the ball valve will keep anything coming towards the coil and always keep any pressure going towards your downside. Now it's time to talk about preventing ceiling damage before it even happens. Install a float switch into your drain line. This little thing actually wires into your system with your thermostat to shut it off whenever this plunger rises up due to water. Take your safety switch housing and install it before the ball valve in your drain line. That way if you ever leave the ball valve closed, the water will flow out, lift up the switch, and turn the system off. And of course when the ball valve is open, any water that comes up the drain line will also raise up the switch. This location will also prevent you from blowing the top off of the switch when you shut the ball valve and apply pressure into your pipe. Avoid putting bleach in your drain line. A lot of people will tell you to put this in your drain line so it will eat away the algae and it'll keep your drain line from clogging or it will solve the problem of your drain line being clogged to begin with. Don't do that. This is highly corrosive to metal. Yes, the liquid will travel down your drain line into your sewer, but the fumes will actually travel back up your drain and help disintegrate your evaporator coil. A safer alternative is to pour hot water down your drain, hook it up to your water heater, whatever you gotta do, you know, use that to flush out your drain line or pour vinegar down periodically and that will do the same thing with bleach, but it won't destroy your air conditioner. And if you're having trouble with a P-trap like this one, then go ahead and click this video and I'll explain all about it and show you how to install it. 